Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel, Kevin Rap Cook Fishing. Back out at the Phoenix Canals again today, September in the 90s. Like I said in last week's video, so awesome that we are no longer in the hundreds. It's about time, guys. Today we're gonna start out just spot hopping, uh, fishing some spots that I think will have some bass in them. See if the bass are starting to chase some bait fish now that we got some cooler temps. We got the six weight fly rod. I got floating line, 10 pound fluorocarbon leader, and a bait fish fly to start. Try to get into some bass. If we see any carp or anything else feeding up top, we might switch to some dry flies later, but uh, let's start with the bass. Let's try to catch some fish. Let's go. All right, guys, coming up on our first spot of the day, this little waterfall here. I see a little bass down there. Ran to the other side of the canal. Hopefully we got a few fish that want to play in here. Let's see. I think I see a nice bass over there on the other side of this waterfall. Of course, the line is wrapped around my foot. Let me fix my problem first. There we go. Yep, I see a bass. Let's see if we can get him to bite. Oh, yep, we did get a bass. Oh, nice bass, dang. Got a nice bass to bite there. Holy cow. Who's done it? I thought that was a big old tilapia at first. That's a good bass, guys. Dang. Oh, came and smoked this. Look at him, look at him in there, dang. All right, got some stairs coming up here. And uh, oh, I'm gonna lose this fish. I've lost him before because I've tried to take him down the stairs, but I've also lost him when I try to, oh, I'm just keeping good tension on him. Let's see, oh, I had to make it down these stairs here. Yeah, he's not a bad fish. I was not expecting that. Oh yeah, guys. Heck yeah. Oh, that's not bad. That's not a bad start to the day. Look at that, he annihilated that. Bait fish pattern there. Oh, that was sweet. Came out easy. Nice fish. He looked a little bigger underwater, but that's a pretty fish. He's been eating, you can see, been eating bait fish here. He's got some scrapes on his upper upper lip there from probably from bait fish fins scraping against him all right buddy thanks let's see him there he goes bye buddy that was awesome heck yeah guys look at this this is what i'm dealing with here had to go down these these this little ladder here to land that fish um that was awesome though there was a different fish near just before the waterfall there and that's what i was targeting and uh, so i casted beyond them into a group of tilapia which i knew wouldn't really care about my fly right now but out of that group of tilapia came that nice bass and he just smashed it that was awesome i mean i highly doubt we're gonna get into any tilapia today just because this is the clarity they can see so well and they might be spooking but i'll definitely i'll give it a few casts Okay, there's a bunch of tilapia down here. They're, uh, they've swept their tails to make little nests for their eggs for spawning. You can catch them during this time. They get pretty territorial. They just don't bite at a whole lot. So you gotta get pretty lucky, but they're a fun fish. And these, some of these are big ones. So if you do catch them, it's a, it's a nice battle. Oh, that's a massive tilapia. You guys saw my video a few weeks ago. I caught one at the base of a, a waterfall and they're cool looking fish and they fight hard. That's pretty sweet. There's some big ones in there down at the bottom. Holy moly. Look at these things though. Dang, there's some big fish. Let's keep going down the shadow line. There definitely might be some bass tucked away in here. So we'll fish this shadow line a little bit. Got one. Got a bass, I knew it. I knew there'd be one in there. He's not hooked very well, pretty small, but definitely, 
yeah that's a yeah a little bass right there but that's awesome simmer down there see how he took that whoa holy moly buddy all right dang dang chill whoa feisty little bass right there feisty one all right they are hardy fish they can take a little hey there he goes all right guys i gotta go pick up my daughter from school so i'm gonna stop fishing for today but that is not the end of this video started out too strong we shared too many awesome moments we got to keep this video going so i'm gonna come back out in the next few days catch some more fish to wrap this video up all right guys second day of the video we're back on the canal today and i've seen a lot of flower petals in the water like a lot of them today and i've seen some carp coming up and chewing on them so today i'm starting out with a hopper tan gray and white it's the closest thing that i have right now that looks like the wilted flowers that they're eating or if it's the stems of the flowers i'm not quite sure we'll take a closer look at the water but uh, hopefully it works out. Hopefully we can catch a carp. Let's get back to it. So there's that hopper in the water there. And to me, that looks like a lot of these flowers and other parts of the trees and bushes that are floating around. Let's see if I put it out there. Yeah, it looks like, I think we might have luck with this hopper. Looking like kind of a flower or the stalk of a plant or the stem of a plant. I think that's what they're coming up and eating. They're not bright colored. Most of them are like wilted color. So that's one, what I wanted to go for. All right, Let's see if we can find one surfacing. Oh, there's some activity over there. Yeah, they're eating up on the edge over there. <laughs> caught a fish on it guys but it was a bass <laughs> a bass came up and smoked it guys a little hopper uh, it was right in between two carp and then i just saw a bass get feisty on it so i stripped it a little more aggressively and caught this little mini bass on the hopper nice <laughs> Thanks, buddy. There he goes. <laughs> All right, we'll take that. That's always fun. Yeah, it was, I pitched it out in front of two carp and I saw them going towards it. Then I saw a much smaller figure moving towards it. Knew it was a bass, so I gave it a couple pop, pop, pop until he smoked it. That's fun. All right, do want to catch a carp on this though. It looks like when I was just looking at that last batch, it looked like they were more keyed in on the pink colored leaves. It's gotta be the most nutrition still in the pink leaves. I don't have any pink floating flies, but definitely gonna tie some up of maybe orange, pink, yellows, just a simple piece of foam and a hook really, because just to mimic these plants that fall in here. You wanted that, guys. Yeah, dang. Almost. Come on. Touched it. <laughs> I think we can catch something on it. That gives me hope. You can get a carp on it. Oh, guys. <sighs> he took it. 
He took it two in a row, guys. Oh man, we gotta catch one of these. Make sure he didn't bend my hook or anything. Nope, just barely missed him. Oh man, we are so close. Come on, carp, come on. I wanna catch one on this. And that's the goal. My best try at matching the hatch for today. They're eating. <laughs> Did you guys see that? I hope that was on camera. He was just like under the water moving trying to find it trying to find it finally came up kissed it and swam away oh man we are so close can't believe how close we got three fish there like in a row and didn't connect oh man they just barely sip and, and they're so slow to commit it's it's crazy it's not like trout or trout they'll just hit it really fast and hard carp come up super slowly and are thinking about it and considering until they close their mouth around the fly even if the fly's in their mouth you still don't have it until they close their mouth around it and sometimes it can just feel like an eternity waiting for them to actually take the fly Got him, guys. Got one. Finally got one to take you guys. Heck yeah. Nice. Ah. Not a huge one, but finally got the one to take that fly. Oh, we've had some misses. I was starting to lose hope. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, wasn't sure if he was gonna take it, but he turned him around and went right for it and just committed right off the bat. Feisty one. Yeah, smaller, so he's got a little more feist to him. A little more trout in this one. All right, guys, heck yeah. I thought this fly would work. I mean, early on, there were a lot of those petals in the water when I first came out with it. It's been about 45 minutes or so. There were so many petals in the water, flower petals, that they weren't really even looking at this fly. They had so much to eat. But then I noticed I walked all the way down to the bridge and I started to come back and I noticed there weren't as many flower petals. So then they were trying to eat basically anything in the water that looked like a flower petal. And that's when we started to get the hits that we've been getting. Nice. Oh yeah, it's awesome. This one's got some fight to it, dang. I'm impressed. Yeah, he's head shaking on me. This is a, a feisty fish right here. But yeah, I'm super excited. I was starting to get a little hope, or I was losing hope. Oh, come on, buddy. Oh, he had another one in him. There we go. He's not huge. I should, man, he is strong. Very strong for his size. Wow. All right, I'm gonna try to get him in. If I can get his head up out of the water for a second, then you can pull him a little more. I got my 10 pound line on. Oh, come on. Got him in the neck, guys. Oh, yeah, this is a, look at that. This is a feisty fish. Oh, fly already came out. Look at that, wow. Wow, feisty fish. Fly already came out of his mouth. Oh man, he smashed that fly up. Wow. Yeah, not huge, but... Holy crap, look at that. He... This is the feistiest dang carp. Holy, he ain't even tired after all that. Jeez. Simmer down, buddy. Simmer down. Keeping him underwater. Wow. This is... Impressive. One of the most. This is not big for a carp, but good looking. 
and strong. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. All right, buddy. All right. All right. I'm going to let you go. Get out of here. There he goes. Holy smokes, guys. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Guys, anyone who tells you that carp aren't fun or they don't fight, they're not scrappy, don't listen to them. Get out there and try it. Trust me. All right, guys, there we go. That'll end our video. Two mini sessions, two days in a row. Got on, what, three bass and one awesome carp at the end. Weird transitional period here in Phoenix with the temperatures changing, but uh, it's gonna be good fishing this fall. So I'm super excited. Guys, if you liked the video, please hit that like button. Thanks so much for joining Kevin Rapcook Fishing. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.